And thankfully, Kurt Eichenwald has uh, provided the comedy. Uh, let me let me get this uh, excuse up because there's a few. It goes on. Heat Street, love them, collated it. It's the worst excuse I've ever heard. I think um, the he tweeted, "Okay, I'm a dumbass." Believe it or not, my kids and I were trying to convince my wife that tentacle porn existed. I tried to find some to show her it was real, but I couldn't find any and ended up with this. My family reads my Twitter feed so they know this is true. Again, this comes back to this weird lie that he likes to put out there that, you know, remember when he did that fucking tweet about his son? Who did Kung Fu? Yeah. And, then the and guy someone like replied, said, I was your kid's master and he was yeah. fucking shit at Kung Fu. I trained the fat shit son. <laughs> okay. So it's like this idea, which I guess helps him out with other lies, like the seizure one, where you, you know, it's some sort of weird collective effort, isn't it? His Twitter feed. It's a weird collective effort. Effort, you know, oh, yeah, my kid's always looking at my Twitter. I mean, these are grown kids, by the way. I mean, these are kids are probably older than me or my age. The idea that, ha-ha, Dad, what do you want to do today? Show my tentacle pod. Yeah, let's all get on Twitter. Like, what? i got shit to do. If I got a phone call from my dad, I mean, that would be rare in itself. I ain't seen a cunt. <laughs> I haven't seen that cunt for a long time. Uh, but if I did get a call from him and he said, son, do you want to come over tonight and... Uh, Help prove that technical no. was real. I mean, <laughs> Dad, listen, you know, I'm happy that you're not in prison anymore, but maybe you should go back. <laughs> you mental cunt. That's the, end of that, that's the end of that conversation, isn't it, mate? That's the end of that conversation. You, fu- It's just weird. Like, it's fucking weird. It's just not what families do, is it? Let's get together and have a meal, shall we? Yeah, let's all work. What's been going on with you? You know, you fucking do all that bullshit. You don't fucking... Right, tonight, kids, we're going to shock your mother and show her the wonderful world of tentacle porn. Now, here's the thing as well. Guy says he's a really good journalist. I mean, he's always talking about that. You know, he's meant to be this fastidious researcher. He's known for this in the industry, actually. When uh, Kurt Eichenwald recently had to have a fire sale, which was hilarious to me, he had to sell off, auction off all of his goods and property because he's uh, str- struggling financially. He, um, he even had to sell like his socks and stuff like that. It was great. That was my tentacle porn in a way. I was like, oh, go on, Kurt. Hit rock bottom. Sell your socks, you fucking ridiculous gun. That was it. That, that got me off for a while. It, it, people were picking up his notes that he did from like, yeah, he did, he, he did the Enron scandal. And somebody bought the original notes and it's just boxes. I mean, like, you could fill this room with how many boxes that he had uh, of this, you know, Enron research he did. So this guy is known as a fastidious researcher. He knows how to find stuff. He's a great digger. Well, he reckoned that to prove tentacle porn was real, I'm just going to do an experiment here. Right? I'm going to get put on a list. Um, just lift that up a little bit. He's Googling tentacle porn. Tentacle porn. I'm just going to Google it. I'm just going to see what happens. Tentacle porn. Uh, there's actually a, a section on Pornhub called tentacle porn. I'll just have a click on that. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it's it is. Real life tentacle porn, actually. Like actual physical, see, yeah, that looks pretty good. That's like the thing. Ah, okay, well, I'll bookmark that for later. Um, and then Tentacle Erotica is a Wikipedia page. And it goes way back, apparently. Uh, again, I don't know if you can show this, but uh, trust me, if you go to the page Tentacle Erotica on Wikipedia, there is something called The Dream of the Fisherman's Wife. I'll let you have a look at this, Sam. But you, again, you definitely can't show it. Because it is just an octopus having a munch. So. Just have a look at that. <laughs> Cthulhu! I think we can show her. It's, it's a drawing. Man, what are you talking about? It's a drawing. It's got a gash on it, mate. You can't show that. It's look a the drawing, gash. though. No, 
Grow up, mate. You can't show <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Grow the fuck up. I'm not getting Twitch banned because you wanted to show an octopus eating somebody. <sighs> you need on, to grow on. up. You need to you take need risks. To the fuck up. And you, she's got a titty out for fuck's sake. It's drawn that she ain't real. That ain't a real titty, bruh. Yeah, you can't show it, man. You can't show it. So if I draw a gash, I ain't allowed to show it. You're trying to tell me no that if I draw something that vaguely looks like a penis, I'm getting shut down. Hey, if you held up uh, cock and balls with the three lines coming out the end on Twitch, you you, you were getting a 24 hour ban, 100. percent What? That's a thing. Yeah. Back in my day, he could do anything on here, miss. Oh, well, it's, 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 it's Showing not kids g- stapling their heads. You could do it all. <laughs> yeah, we, we, mate, we rode the line. We rode the line. Apparently, showing real blood is against the rules now. So, spam Margera wouldn't be allowed anymore. I do want to just to show him. I wasn't allowed when we showed it. We just did it anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Back then, we didn't care. No, it was it was just wild times. But now, you know, but now we, we got someone to lose, Sam. We got it. We just got a shop, for God's sake. We got T-shirts to sell. Don't fuck it up because you want to show an octopus going down on a Japanese. Stay true to the fuck. game. Yeah, stay true to the game. Exactly, mate. Um, so anyway, it, it turns out tentacle erotica is a, an ancient uh, form of porn in that sense. I mean, not ancient, but it's old. It's been around a while. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on in Japan. That you know, like all these lonely fishermen. If only there was a way, these squid would just come onto land and fuck all our wives. Like, yeah, all right, mate. Maybe you've been alone too long, you know. But here's the point. You can Google it. I just did. I just found two examples of it. I found the complete history of tentacle porn. It's number two after Pornhub. And one, two. So why did he need to have? He claimed he couldn't find it. He claimed he couldn't find it, first of all. Let's scrutinize that. He said he couldn't find any. He, sa- he claimed this incredible, fastidious, investigative journalist couldn't find tentacle porn on the internet. Come on. Grow up, Kurt Eichenwald. So he couldn't find any, so he claims. Uh, and in a now, I think, hang on, is it a now deleted tweet? Let me just see. Oh, no, no, he's kept it. He's kept it. He has kept it. Uh, so you can have a look. Here's the original tweet. Just dig in the hole. He's just digging the hole, mate. He's fucked it up, hasn't he? Uh, here it is. Um, so then he follows that up with, uh, while hentai, until now, I thought it was called manga. No, you didn't. <laughs> Like, B. Chiku is a very specific and obscure hentai that we've just shown has a very particular plot line to it, which is young fucking kids getting groped at a school, you sick, bald cunt, right? <laughs> so, uh, you definitely didn't think it was manga because, you know, I find things like B. Chiku, right? And he said it was on screen... It wasn't, it was but it was tabbed, you know. Uh, I was on screen as part of a search to prove to my wife Tentacle Porn. Again, I just don't understand what, what's your marriage like, Kurt? What is your marriage like? You need to spice things up in the bedroom, is it? Hey, darling, look, imagine if I had some fucking tentacles with suckers in there. Yeah, is this what? I, I don't know why I just did the weasel from fucking Bioda. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Paulie Shaw is he's back right but anyway the uh then he goes what difference would it make seriously well I don't see the appeal of cartoon pawn <laughs> yeah, spirit losing his mind I don't <laughs> like cartoon pawn <laughs> no, it is it, the thing though right look how far away or an AI <laughs> Keyboard. Do you know what he's done here? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, right? When liars want to tell lies that they know are lies, they throw little details in that's just off, so they can so in their mind they haven't lied because he's a journalist, so lying's important to him. It's like it's 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 the final fig leaf. If you just start lying as a journalist, I mean, what have you got, right? I mean, it's it's the truth literally defines your career 
Okay. So what he's done there is he's deliberately typed it wrong. Cartoon palm. So he can say, well, I never said I don't see. I didn't lie about saying I, I don't see the appeal of cartoon porn because I never typed cartoon porn. Legit. That's the mind process of. of uh, surely you can't be that mentally ill. Mentally ill. I, mate, I've got a window into mental illness like no one else. Window into it, mate. I just do. I just open up your fucking brain and I can see all your fucking little skeletons and mental quirks all laid bare. I've been around so many nutters down the years. You don't understand what it's like, Sam. Ming was the tip of the iceberg, mate. I've I've been around genuine loons. And the thing is, they like me because I've never, I, I'm not judgmental. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously, for the purposes of the show, for comedy, I'll be like, yeah, he's fucked up or whatever. When I'm around these nutters, or, yeah, tell us about, all oh, right, really? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting thought. You just, you just treat them like they're regular guys, like that story I Am told I you. Am I working for who, Louise? Stop, <laughs> <laughs> Louise. Yeah, this is hoofing gear. Um, you know, it just it just be polite, isn't it? Like, it's not their fault they're fucking out to lunch. You know what I mean? Just that's I can have a conversation with you all the same. It's like I told you about that fucking five percent ago who sat down and went, "Well, the thing is, white people were invented by a mad scientist uh, as an experiment that went wrong, and you're actually descended from genetic material from the devil." Agreed. Pass me that dank dank. <laughs> Which is why I'm about to nick your fucking stash. <laughs> Tell me more. You know what I mean? Like it's just just have a conversation, innit? Like I'm quite a personable chap in, in, in real life. But anyway, so you're seriously, but I don't see the appeal of cartoon pan. <laughs> He's gone mad Geordie. I'm off to get some cartoon pan, like. Why are you? Mate? <laughs> Billion industry people obviously look at it. Yeah, they do. Keep going, Kurt. Keep going. And in a now deleted tweet, uh, he this is where he really digs the hole. That's why he deleted it because he's like, ah, I don't even see the appeal of that cartoon pan, right? And uh, let me just see where it is. Uh, here's the one Ian Miles Chong got it, of course, he didn't. Thanks to Offensive Turret for sending us links. She uh, fastidiously. I love saying that word today for some reason. Uh, screenshotted all of the uh, original saga. So thanks to her for that. Um, here it is. Uh, look at this. In a now deleted tweet, he says, <laughs> even if I was reading Japanese porn, reading, reading it, like, <laughs> even if I was for like, oh shit, like, if I killed her. So a pipe in a big comfy leather armchair oh senpai you're so crazy what scrapes will we get into today i wonder oh schoolgirls. <laughs> this guy's so mentally Not ill so am I. <laughs> you so crazy senpai <laughs> right <laughs> Even if I was reading Japanese porn, what would be big deal? I, again, he's up and What would be big, big deal? Otherwise, English is broken down. He's going for, like, I do not understand. Even if I was, what is big deal? Anything to get away from it. Pretending he doesn't speak English. I mean, no, uh, I, have, um, I am late for the point, Moon. I am not I can wild Do you know what I mean? <laughs> What big deal? You're lying. Like that fucking guy from the fucking... That ridiculous racist caricature from the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> you like your buy, huh? With the fucking apron on. Like, Even if I was reading Japanese porn, what would be big deal? I've read porn in my life. Not into cartoons, though. Are you guys Puritan or eight? Well, I'm pretty sure some of the... <laughs> not even finishing that are you puritans what am i a puritan because i don't want to jerk off over sexualized kids in a fucking school with themes of arranged marriage and and, and physical assault Kurt. does that make me a puritan does it that make me a puritan because i'm not sat up at fucking 2 a.m with my wife and then the tentacle goes in her asshole like, you're fucked aren't you kurt now here's the here's the thing as well let me check this out Ashton Lou 
uh, which is a- Ash Effect collated this. Um, you're going to have to be really careful. It's, in fact, no, I'll just have to give you the image. Sorry, Ashton Lou, you could have been on the show here, but you can't because you've got a picture of Baku, <laughs> B. Chiku, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, <laughs> on your, right? But there you go. So this is the image, right? This was Kurt Eichenwald's go to insults. And uh, it, it's just projection, isn't it? Now, all of a sudden, I get a window into how he spends his evenings. Look at the insult. Don't you have to take, don't you have meds to take and cartoons to watch? Go on your way. Adults are talking. Mm hmm. Now go take your meds and watch your cartoons and then have a nap. Adults are talking. Don't you have meds to take and cartoons to watch? Ari. Real 9-11 investigation, time for your meds, watch cartoons, and then go to bed. How very interesting. Uh, it turns out you do like to watch cartoons, but they're a little bit different to the ones I watch, Kurt. They're a little bit different, aren't they? You see, in Transformers, there's not a scene where fucking Optimus Prime... <laughs> what, what's the female one? RC. Oh, so, so. Senpai, and she falls over, and her mechanical skirt hitches up a little bit, and Optimus Prime goes, oh, so, so, sorry, starts blushing immediately. That didn't happen in Transformers, they're good cartoons. That, Thundercats, criminally underrated Brave Star. You know, those cartoons, none of that happens. And also, you take meds. <laughs> I'm just, I know this is just such a silly point to make, but you do take the meds, don't you, Kurt? You have to, don't you, mate? Because remember, you're the one who said that your epilepsy is so bad that you obviously have to take medication for it. So, so that is, you've just described your evening, haven't you? You take your meds, you stay away from gifts, and you look at sexualized schoolgirls. <laughs> and that's your evening, isn't it? That is what you do.